we're now able to use both literal characters and wildcards or sets to create far more flexible patterns. However, at the moment we're still stuck to searching against a fixed number of characters, even if those individual characters themselves are allowed to vary within the parameters that we set. By using quantifiers, we're able to make the number of characters, whichever characters we specify or whichever character sets, vary again according to the parameters that we set. Let's take a look at an example. Here we're taking the larger string beep and beep and beep spelled with various numbers of E's and we're asking Perl to look for any instances of this pattern beep. And this beep has only two E's. If we run this little script Perl will only find one match in the string that we're searching in. The problem is, of course, that we're very literally specifying the number of E's that we expect to find. Here is where a quantifier can come into play and help us to specify a more flexible range of numbers for the particular character that we expect to find within our pattern. In this case, we can use the plus symbol. And the plus stands for one or more. Every quantifier acts on the character that immediately precedes it. So whenever we see a plus sign, for instance, the character that comes immediately before it is the one that we're specifying the quantity of. So in this case, we're saying BEP is valid, and then B followed by three E's is valid, followed by P, and B followed by a thousand E's, and then a P would also be a valid instance of this pattern. If we ran this script, the matches array will have caught all of the instances of the pattern that are contained within the string. The plus quantifier is not the only quantifier available to us, however. These are the quantifiers that we can use. The first one that we've just seen in action tells Perl that it has to find the character that it follows one or more times. The asterisk stands for zero or more times. So we're telling Perl that it may find one instance of the character, it may find 30 or it may find none at all. If we use a question mark, we're telling Perl that the character in question may appear either zero times or once. So it can be there but only once or not at all. We can also use the curly brackets which in the context of regular expressions allow us to specify an exact number of times that we want the immediately preceding character to appear. So in the place of the letter N, we would put in the number of times that we want that particular character to appear for our pattern. If we don't know exactly how many times the character is going to appear, we can use a minimum. So if we said 6 followed by a comma, that would mean that Perl would be looking for at least 6 instances of the character that immediately precedes the quantifier or any number greater than 6. If we want to specify upper and lower limits for our quantifier, we can do so by using two figures with a comma between them.